Hi, first graders, and welcome to lesson three of Go Math. We are going to need a few different items for this lesson. You are going to need a pencil. You will also need your Go Math book. And you will also need your yellow and red counters. Once you have these items, then we can get started. All right, so this is our I can statement for lesson three. Remember that our I can statements tell us what we will know by the end of our lesson. I can use concrete objects to solve adding to addition problems. And in this lesson, we'll be using our yellow and red counters. All right, so let's go ahead and turn to page 21. And we are going to listen to a math problem. So listen closely. There are two red crayons and three yellow crayons. How many crayons are there? We are going to follow the directions. The directions say, use red and yellow counters to model the problem. Draw the red and yellow counters. Write the numbers and addition sentence. And again, thinking back to the problem we just listened to, it said that there are two red crayons. So let's think about how we can use our counters to show two red crayons. So grab your counters and find two red ones to show that there are two red crayons. Now in the story, it said three yellow crayons. So think about how you might use your yellow counters to show three yellow crayons. You should be grabbing three yellow counters to show three yellow crayons. Now, what do we need to find? Well, the problem says, how many counters are there? That means we need to find how many crayons there are in all. So let's start by drawing our counters on our paper, and then we'll be able to figure out how many there are all together. So with your pencil, let's draw two red counters to show two red crayons. Now let's write the number two on the blank line where it says red crayons. There are two red crayons. Now let's draw how many yellow crayons there are. So taking your pencil, let's draw the yellow crayons represented by our yellow counters. So drawing our three yellow counters that you have set out. One, two, three, three yellow crayons. Remember that we are going to now find out how many crayons there are all together. Well, we see that we have our addition sentence right underneath. We're finding out two plus three equals, let's count and find out how many crayons we have all together. One, two, three, four, five. Would you look at that? We made five. Just like we were practicing last week. Two plus three is equal to five. That means there are five crayons. I want you to say this sentence here at the bottom with me. There are five crayons. Now turn your page over to page 22. We are going to work on our model and draw problem in the purple box at the top. The problem says, add to find how many books there are. There are two small books and one big book. 
how many books are there? Hmm, well, let's first think about this question. What do you need to find to solve the problem? If we look back at our problem, we notice that we need to find the number of books. That's why it asks the question, how many books are there? We need to find the number of books. Let's look at the drawing and see if it helps us. Notice there are two counters already drawn here. Let's trace those counters. And let's also trace the number two. I want you to think about this question. What do you think the two counters and the number two stand for? Hmm, if you think that the two counters stand for the two small books, then you're right. Now let's think about what this one counter stands for. So go ahead and trace that one counter and trace that number one. And I want you to think about the same question, but this time for the one counter. What do you think this one counter stands for in the problem? If you think the one counter stands for the one big book, then you're right. Two small books plus one big book. Now, how can we find the number of books in all? If you think we should count all of the counters, then you're right. Let's count all of the counters that we have drawn here. Count with me. One, two, three. There are three books in all. Two plus one is equal to three. Now we can fill in our answer over here. Three books. Now let's move on to the bottom of page 22. This part of our page says share and show. We are going to do number one together and then you're going to try number two on your own. Let's read the directions. The directions say, use red and yellow counters to solve. Draw to show your work. Write the number sentence and how many. Number one says, there are four red pencils and two green pencils. How many pencils are there? Well, we are going to use our counters to solve. First, we see that there are four red pencils. Think about how many counters we'll need to show that there are four red pencils. We're using four red counters to stand for four red pencils. Next in the problem, it says there are two green pencils. Well, even though we don't have green counters, we can just pretend. So let's grab two yellow counters, and that stands for our two green pencils. Now we have to find out the answer to this question. How many pencils are there? Well, just like we did in the problem right above, we are going to count all of our counters to see how many pencils there are in total. First, let's see how many red counters there are. So looking again at your red counters, we have one, two, three, four. So for our addition sentence, we are going to write four for our four red counters, which stand for our four red pencils. Next, we're going to see how many yellow counters we have. Remember that our yellow counters stand for our two green pencils. Two yellow counters for two green pencils. So let's count one, two. That means we are going to add 
two more. Remember that at the end of any addition sentence, there's always an equal sign before our answer. Let's count all of our counters and see how many counters we have in all. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means our addition sentence now says four plus two is equal to six. That also means that we have six pencils. Next up, we are going to take a look at number two at the bottom of our page. I'm going to read number two for you, and then I'm going to ask you to try that one on your own. Number two says, there are five blue cups and three yellow cups. How many cups are there? So I want you to pause the video here and try number two on your own. Remember to use your counters to help you. When you're finished, we will check back in. All right, now that you've had some time to work on number two, let's check and see how you did. So remember that the problem says that we have five blue cups. Now, even though we don't have blue counters, that's okay. We can just pretend like our red counters will stand for our blue cups. So since we have five blue cups, we can use one, two, three, four, five counters to show five blue cups. Our problem says that we also have three yellow cups. We can use our yellow counters to represent our three yellow cups. One, two, three. Now our question says, how many cups are there? Well, hopefully you added up all of your counters. There are five red counters, which stand for our blue cups, plus three yellow cups, which are represented by our three yellow counters. And when we count all of them, this is what you should have gotten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means we have eight in all. Five plus three is equal to eight. We can also now fill in our answer. There are eight cups. If you got this one right, give yourself a big pat on the back. If not, that's okay. We have plenty of more time to practice adding. So on page 23, there is a title at the top that says, on your own. That means this page is going to be finished all on your own. You all did such a great job, first graders. Remember to turn in a picture of your page on Seesaw so that Ms. Rodriguez and I can see how you did. Until next time, first graders, bye.